Cancer, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. I felt like someone getting ready for the holidays, whether it's Halloween or Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate. Someone getting excited for the end of the year, something like that. Football parties. Okay, what is going on for Cancer? Let's see. Someone may want to fix a connection with you. I get also for some of you, this is a friend that maybe you had a falling out with. Um, unexpected water sign. So this could be you, fire sign, chemistry. All right, some of you may, um, this might be two different things. You might meet a fire sign or you know a fire sign that you have like unexpected chemistry with this person as well. Okay. The Divine Feminine is very passionate. It says an intense attraction, hot and heavy at first, and mostly about sex. Okay, well, we'll see what comes up. And the truth, it's all about divine timing. Air sign, yes. So maybe there's an air sign under the deck that says yes, they're spying. So a lot of messages, they're different. So just bear with me. They're realizing they wanna return because they re regret something they did, they are, they're heartbroken. So for some of you, you have an air sign who's spying that wants to come back. There's someone who wants to mend a connection. You may meet a fire sign where it's just all about the chemistry. It may just be lust. It may not be true love, but the truth will come out if that's the situation. Okay, what's going on for your love life? First thing I'm getting is some of you may get more work or be like given more work at your job if you work or something like that. Like I'm getting like more given to you. So I'm not sure exactly what that means. It feels like job. So your caseload or your workload may um, double to be ready for that. I also get somebody could be wanting, wanting a relationship here, but it doesn't feel very, yeah, let me see. Okay, no, no. I mean, Earth sign, you got everyone showing up right now, I feel. But Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe some of you, this may be someone you work with, it doesn't have to be at all, go to school with, something like that. You may realize that someone has feelings for you, you get someone sneaking peeks at you, glancing at you, watching you. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, maybe somebody that, again, you see on a regular basis with the Eight of Coins or something like that. Or somebody, you know, let's see. You're busy with work. A lot of work I get coming up here or working on yourself, but you're happy. So something about working on yourself, receiving more money. If you don't work, it's something else along that line where you're, I guess maybe you're investing in yourself. So you may be investing in like the market or something, but you may also be learning a new skill or going back to school just to learn something just for fun or investing in your health. So you may be receiving some extra money here. Six of coins can be a small amount. From could be a fire sign. So you have a fire sign that wants to take you out. I'm sorry, like there's like three or four different things going on. So I try to keep it straight for you. Okay, because I'm seeing a situation I feel like something's gonna, like, there's a breakthrough here. I feel like there's a money stall here for some of you. Like, money has not been coming in. But something's gonna get better. I mean, your money's gonna pick up. It could be with a fire sign. This fire sign could also be a boss. It could also be someone who hires you. Same with the King of Pentacles. I mean, this could be work here. Um, I do feel like, though, some of you, if you do work in a company, you, you could have someone who might have a crush on you. But careful, because it could just be, you know, Romantic, I guess you could say, or lust. It may not be something that's um, long-term. There's an earth sign that also has a crush on you or likes you. I feel like you could get some communication from more than one person here. Because for somebody also, I feel like somebody may want to mend a connection. It could be a family member or a friend or something like that, a coworker. It could be an ex, of course, too. Yeah, somebody like wants to give you something or work something out with you or, but I also feel like there could be a third party here. I feel like there could be someone that you're dealing with who is already in a relationship. You probably know that, so I don't think it's like a hidden thing though. 
Show me this Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. Some of you are going to have enough money to buy a home or maybe pay off a home or possibly like also get somebody wanting to purchase something and like fix it up, work on it. I'm also getting that might be something that you end up finding that you love to do. Some of you may find something you love to do, a hidden talent. Um, something that just happens, you know? Like let's say you just, you buy a fixer upper and then you find that you are enjoying the process of um, working on it. And you maybe plan to sell it down the way or rent it out or live in it down the way. I also see if you work in a company, I feel like a boss uh, really appreciates you. Some of you definitely could be dating somebody new. Again, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, some of you might figure out like there's somebody who they're like, it's just not going to work. Like you have a connection with someone, it's just not working out. Maybe like they're flaky, they're not showing, um, they're not showing up. Maybe it's just lust. But if that's the case, you could meet somebody new that has, um, that could be an earth sign. Doesn't have to be, but could be. Trust. Make the effort very soon. A past life relationship is coming in. Feels like right here, like you have to do something you don't really want to do. It's like he's kissing her, like trust. Like there may be something where you have to work together with someone or work something out, make the effort, even if you don't want to. Could be an ex. You may have to deal with somebody from your past you don't want to deal with, but or work with somebody you don't want to work with. But soon something new is coming in to take the, that place. So there's something about like the past, the old, and then the new for you in your reading. Let's go to these cards and see. Love. Discord among friends or family. That card has been coming out a lot. So again, it could be coworkers, exes. Go back to the basics. Back to the basics. That's interesting. So if there is discord among a friend or family, but I thought they want to fix things, go back to the way things were, go back to the basics, start over. Because love obviously can mean friendship and family members or coworkers or something. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. It could be a fire sign, but a change for the better is coming for you. Dissa dissatisfaction with life. Some of you need to take a break or go on vacation and get a fresh look at things and family matters. So I feel like cancer, you could have quite a few things happening at once. It doesn't mean it's going to be like a whirlwind of drama. It just feels like a lot of little things could be nagging at you or bothering you right now. Maybe people are, like everyone's like irritated or agitated. It could just be this week, the Aries full moon, or it could just be like the energy just in general. Let me go to a different deck for you guys. Yeah, there's, again, taking a vacation is necessary. So maybe you need to take a break because I think it's wearing on your mental state. I feel like for some of you, you know, being a water sign, you need some time alone to like regroup. I don't see the deck I want, but I'm going to go to this one next. Lesson. Someone's in your life to teach you a spiritual lesson. I feel like there's someone you're not getting along with, but it could also be someone who's flaking out. So again, it's, I think it's best to like listen to your intuition, speak your truth. There's also a friend who owes you apology. I told you, I feel like there's a friend who is going to apologize. This men card, again, it might be like a, a sister or a brother. It could be a family member as well. And trust. Friendship, apology, and trust. Trust the apology. Love. You have love in both decks. This is something about like showing love, getting back to the basics, getting over the past. I feel like things are going to work out for you because again, this is in the hidden position, what you don't see. So it could be somebody wants to work on something with you, or it could be again, you are working on something, getting more work, but you're happy. Eight of coins, again, uh, a passion, something you're passionate about or something you love doing. What is this eight of coins? Love. Some of you are going to have love at work. You're going to meet somebody through your job or through your school or the gym or something. Deciding to turn your back on something. Hermit. Someone's coming back around for you. You also have a... Okay, some of you may be dealing with a Sagittarius, a fire sign on one side. And then you have new love on the other side. 
And that's exactly what's showing up. Like someone you're dealing with is not the right person for you. And there is someone that's coming in that's more trustworthy, someone who is more of a, like maybe a friend, or you feel like they're like a friend or something possibly. I could read this different ways. There's a lot coming through your reading. I don't, I hope it makes sense. When they get like this, it's kind of chaotic. Let's see, what else is going on for you? Possibility for union. Yes, yeah, Sky Bridge. And closing the door on a situation under the deck. This is a good reading because this is like a closure on a situation, but something new is coming in right away. So the fates, closing a door is fated, a revelation, something that's meant to be or not be, initiation. I'm getting you feel more peaceful in a week or so. I'm getting something, if you are having uh, issues with friends or coworkers or family, that will die down. It won't be so dramatic. Um, don't let anyone manipulate you, especially family. I'm getting family or coworkers. Don't let people talk you into doing anything that you know in your heart is not good for you. Yes, yeah, some of you need to take a break because you have the strength card coming out in reverse. This tells me you're low on energy and it's time for you to make some sort of change or go on vacation like the cards keep saying. You will have victory though. You're running low on energy, but you will have a victory, six of wands. I feel like this is an energetic reading. I feel like some of this is, has to do with the closing of a um, energetic you know, cycle and something new coming in, maybe new work, something that brings new money in for you. So yeah, be prepared. It's not going to be difficult, but I feel like there is like some closure here for you coming in and then something, I'm going to leave it there. I'm repeating myself. So have a great week, you guys.